Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain one example of transient response of first order system. So this is our example that is impulse response of first order system is given below. That is uh, C of t is equals to 6 e raised to power minus 2 t find time constant DC gain transfer function and unit step response. So we have to find these four uh, terms in this example and this is our given equation of the for the impulse response for, for first order system now note that uh, before this video i have made one video where i have explained everything about the first order system so if you don't know anything about this so uh, you can watch here on the i button or you can uh, go into the description and see the link there also see uh, this is our example where we have to find time constant and gain so before this we should know the first order equation so equation for the first order system is given by c of s upon r of s this is transfer function of the first order system which is equals to k divided by ts plus one this is the standard form for the first order uh, system now note that here k is equals to dc gain and t is equals to time constant that we have to find in this example also and this c of s upon r of s is nothing but transfer function means we have to find c of s upon r of s for this problem now our example is having equation which is given as c of t is equals to 6 e raised to power minus 2 t now we have to convert this equation into laplace transform therefore we have to take the laplace transform of this equation and therefore taking laplace transform we will get c of t the laplace transform of c of t is c of s for 6 it will be 6 there and for e raised to power minus 2t now note that uh, e for e raised to power minus 80 we are having laplace transform as 1 divided by s plus a now Note that it is minus a t and we got here s plus a. Therefore, comparing with the same equation, we will get Laplace transform of e raised to power minus 2 t as 1 divided by s plus a. That is s plus 2 here, which can be written as 6 divided by s plus 2. Now, for impulse response, let us consider this as multiplied by 1 and therefore I can write here c of s equals to 6 divided by s plus 2 times del of s del of s because del of s is equals to 1 otherwise also it is given as for the impulse response and therefore I can modify this equation as c of s upon delta of s equal to 6 divided by s plus 2 now delta of s is nothing but our input and therefore i can write here c of s divided by r of s so we can say that this is our transfer function or further we can simplify it how can we simplify it so by comparing it with the standard equation and the standard equation is given as k divided by uh, ts plus 1 form okay this is in the form of this now note here that it is s plus 2 form now we have to convert this 2 into 1 so for this i will divide it by 2 both numerator and denominator can be divided by 2 and therefore 6 by 2 is equals to 3 and here also it is a 0 0.5 times s plus 1 so this is the standard form that we are getting and therefore comparing this equation with the standard equation here we get dc gain equal to now dc gain equal to 3 that is dc gain k equal to 3 this was our first term second that we had to calculate is the time constant now time constant is uh, t capital t time constant t it is equals to 0 0.5 second and last term is the equation that is already written there 
equation that is transfer function c of s upon r of s is equals to it was let us see the example it is 3 divided by 0 0.5 times 5s plus 1 so this is uh, these are the three things that we have to calculate next that we have to calculate is nothing but this step response now unit step response is given by r of s is equals to 1 upon s so our equation is c of s upon r of s is equals to 3 divided by 0 0.5 times uh, 0 0.5 s plus 1 now uh, just i have sent this r of s here on the right hand side and that is what we are getting put r of s is equals to 1 by s here in our equation and uh, further we will get equation like this now to solve this we have to use the partial fraction method and after applying partial fraction we will get simplified form of this equation as a upon s plus b upon 0 0.5 s plus 1 now this is what we got after uh, using partial fraction but we have to find the value of a and find uh, we have to find the value of b here so to find value of a and b uh, you can use any uh, method that you know about the partial fraction so uh, what i am doing here i am just multiplying this uh, this term i am just taking this term to the right hand side and that's what I am getting so this s and this s will get cancelled this term and this will term will get cancelled also here and therefore I will get uh, equation as 3 equal to this one let this equ is equation number 1 and let this be the equation number 2 now we got equation like this where we have to find the value of a and b now to apply here what I am doing let us apply for first this denominator should be compared with 0 so s equals to 0 now put s equals to 0 in equation number 2 and what we will get we will get 3 equal to equation 2 is having value of s equals to 0 here so it is a plus 0 that is value of a is equals to 3 in this case similarly we have to put this value equal to 0 and I can write here for 0 0.5 s plus 1 equal to 0 here and therefore s will be equals to minus 1 over 0 0.5 which is equals to minus 2 now put s equals to minus 2 in equation number 2 again and what we will get 3 is equals to this term will be 0 because this will become minus 1 here and it is 0 plus minus 2 b sorry yes minus 2 b and therefore the value of b is equals to therefore the value of b is equals to 3 by minus 3 by 2 so we got the value of a and we got the value of b just put in this equation that we are getting like this a is equals to 3 and b is equals to minus 3 by 2 if i put the value here and further this 2 is multiplying this term that is uh, this denominator we will get it as s plus 2 okay now we are get, uh, we have got this equation in the timed uh, in the laplace domain form and therefore to find it into time domain form we have to take inverse laplace here and taking inverse Laplace what we will get here the Laplace transform for, uh, sorry inverse Laplace for 3 by s is 3 and for this term it is minus 3 e raised to power minus 2 t and that is what we are getting so this is our final answer so this is one of the method again there is alternate method to solve this uh, fourth term that is our step response how we uh, how this can be solved so step response is uh, the integration of the impulse response and we got impulse response as this was our 
a input equation for the impulse response ce the 6e raised to power minus 2t taking integration on the both side what we will get here 6 integration of e raised to power minus 2t e raised to power minus 2t has equation uh, integration as e raised to power minus 2t divided by minus 2 and therefore multiplied by 6 we will get here minus 3 you can see minus 3 term here and therefore this is our equation plus this integration constant now we have to find the value of c and therefore i am considering initial condition as 0 and putting this value here we will get this equation where c is equals to 3 there and just put the value and after that we will get the final answer as this one now you can compare this equation that is c of t is equals to 3 minus e raised to power minus 2t and same answer is also there so in this way you can use any method that you like and in this way you can find the step response for the first order system thank you